To assess the flexor tendons of the wrist, the first soft tissue landmark we can identify is the pronator quadratus muscle which sits here between the radius and the ulna. Now, if we look at the tendons first of all that sit most superficially, now not everybody has a palmaris longus, but we can see a palmaris longus here. And next to that, more radially, we can see flexor carpi radialis. Um, and remember, at any point you can follow these tendons down. If we move towards the ulnar side, you can see the flexor carpi ulnaris tendon, which again, we can follow down. You can see the muscle belly getting smaller, smaller onto the attachment of pisiform, which is just one of its attachments. If we move back up proximally and we move more centrally, then we can start to pick up the median nerve. If we move more proximally, the median nerve is the structure that will find its way, there we go, dropping deeper into the forearm. And we can follow that median nerve up and into on top of the pronator quadratus that we saw earlier, tilting the probe because obviously they are quite prone to um, anisotropy and we can follow that down. If we keep an eye on that nerve tilting the probe, we can see as the flexor retinaculum over the top and then what we're looking for is the scaphoid on the radial side and we're looking for the uh, pisiform on the ulnar side. If we follow it further down, if we tilt the probe, we can see a nice image there of the um, median nerve. And as we keep going down, we can actually see this very thick band here, which is the transverse ligament. If we go slightly more proximally, then we can see the nerve. And underneath this, we can see lots of tendons. And if we get the patient just to wiggle their fingers, we can see we've got superficialis, in the more superficial layer and profundus. But we also have another tendon that sits just underneath in this little corner here, which is flexor pollicis longus. And actually we can follow that down all the way into the thumb if we want to. If we go back up, the next structure that we're gonna look at is we're gonna look for this little triangle here, which we can see, which is Guillaume's canal. So this is the pisiform. We can see the ulnar artery and we can also just see the ulnar nerve. And if we're really light with our pressure, we can see a little vein pop out there. And then we can see that, follow it down, and then the ulnar nerve will split just above the hook of hamate, which we can see there. So those are all the structures within the flexor region of the wrist.